Hello and welcome back to the Pro Evolution 2019 series with Aston Villa in the Master League. And today we're taking on Blackburn Rovers and Bolton Wanderers. Now this should be a shorter episode, a bit of a normal length episode. No transfer window, no new players to introduce. So we'll crack straight into it and uh, go and play Blackburn Rovers. We are lining up slightly differently than normal. We're going for a new 4-1-2-2-1 formation, giving... Basically, telling Ben Arthur that he doesn't have to defend at all because he's absolutely useless at it. Uh, Abraham is the lone striker up front. Ross McCormack comes in as a second striker along with Ben Arthur. Grealish, uh, Hurrihan and Kabai make up the midfield. So what this formation allows us to do is that Kabai will be dropping into between the centre-backs to try and pick the ball up when we're in possession. Uh, Richie Delat and Neil Taylor are just told to bomb on and press on up front. Hurryhan holds in midfield, Grealish puts in underneath Abraham, and then Ben Arthur and McCormack offer a slight bit of width, but we want them to get in and around Abraham, so the main bit of the width is going to come from Richie Delat and Neil Taylor. We have started in a different formation, so when we're in possession of the ball, this is what we're going to look like. I've been playing around with the tactics a bit off screen. Uh, as you can see, Jack Grealish pushes up a bit, and Richie Delat and Neil Taylor offer a bit of width. But when we're out of possession, Hurryhan drops back, and it goes a bit more to a 4 2 3 1 rather than like a 4 3 3-3 pretty much. So that is how we're going to play. Uh, Blackburn Rovers are looking okay. They're struggling actually in the season. They're down near the bottom of the table. Those kits don't clash so we'll go for that. They are struggling down near the bottom of the table. They've only got two points but we've only got five. So five or six. And um, we're not keeping pace with Stoke City who are absolutely dominating this division. But It'll be interesting to see how we get on, so we'll see you for kickoff. So Aston Villa get the game underway, Tamri Abraham is kicking off and it goes straight out to Richie Delat. And Aston Villa will look to build formations. We are using the Gegen Plus as well, just to try and sort out a little bit and give us a bit more space and time. So, we'll be back if there's any interesting highlights. So Kabai flicks it wide out to the left, it's now come back to Ben Arthur. Back to Kabai, Kabai infield to Grealish, into Ben Arthur, a bit of space for Neil Taylor. Neil Taylor swings in an early cross, looking for Tammy Abraham. His header uh, is blocked very well by the defender. And Kabai wins that header. And Aston Villa look to recycle it. Again, there's space on the left-hand side for Taylor. Referee, we'll have that free kick, please. Yes, we get it. There we go. Um, the advantages in Pez are a little bit strange. Sometimes it just thinks if you hold the ball long enough, no matter actually where you end up, it doesn't bring it back for a free kick. So occasionally, if you want a free kick like that, it's better just to punt the ball out <laughs> or... Or do something that means you'll get it. So Ben Arthur is fouled. And it was very it's a very late tackle on him. So this should be Johan Kabai territory. It looks like it's going to be pretty well set up for Johan Kabai. We'll just see if we can curl it into that corner. Oh, he's hit the bar. So unlucky for Johan Kabai. It's still alive with Grealish. She's hit the post. And Abraham can't get on the rebound. Oh, dramatic couple of seconds there for Aston Villa. So unlucky to not go ahead. As uh, Johan Kabai has denied his first goal for Villa by the woodwork. But here come Blackburn Rovers on a counter-attack with Bennett. But he's been held up well by Neil Taylor. And uh, we've done well to just withstand in there and stop him putting a cross in. And Taylor gets back well to cross as well. Now, they've had a few little comments on the videos, which is great. Love interacting with you guys. So if you have any comments, please do leave them down below. Uh, and if you're new, why not subscribe and drop a like on the video if you enjoy it. As Armstrong's trying to get in behind, he shoots. Great save from Nyland there. Uh, I was asked to go and check out a player from Turkey. I've added him to my list. So we will go and look at him uh, after this game. But for now, it's a corner to Blackburn Rovers. Eight minutes into the game. Uh, it's flicked in and the goalkeeper gets a good, strong punch to it. And Kabai... We'll try and put Evans under pressure. And it's gone back to the wide man. And Neil Taylor's there to, to cover. And then now Aston Villa look to launch their own counter-attack here. And it's Atem Ben Arthur on the ball. He's got a runner going there. And he tries to use his ability to spread that wide. And he does. Oh, it's just robbed by, robbed off McCormack's feet. Villa have worked this very well with Richie Delat. He's got a bit of space on the right-hand side. Gets an early cross in looking for Abraham. It's a good defensive header, but... Ah, oh, the ball didn't quite fall to Ben Arthur, but Aston Villa still come forward. Good little one-two to release Neil Taylor, but he hasn't got space for the cross. He cuts back, finds Jack Grealish, gives it back to Taylor. He's offside, and that'll be the end of Aston Villa's attack. Aston Villa take a quick free kick, and it's found the lat. He's got a runner in McCormack just above him. Tries to do a little dummy shot, goes down in the box, but it's only a corner. And uh, Aston Villa will look to swing this in. Ben Arthur with the in-swinger. Can he find someone in the box? He's gone near post. And it's cleared by Blackburn Rovers. And uh, Richie, uh, Richie Delac can't get there. And Armstrong does well to defend. 
And uh, Blackburn Rovers hold on. And Jack Grealish has made a great run into the box. He just couldn't get his shot off. Tries to find Abraham, but there's a good tackle from Mulgrew in the box. And uh, two and David does well to read that. Then gives the ball to Richie Delat. Looks for an early cross in again at the back post. Ben Arthur! Oh, it's a great save from the goalkeeper. And Ben Arthur and Kabai have both been very unlucky to not open their accounts for Aston Villa. As Conway comes forward, there's a lot of space. Two and Zabie's got a lot of room to cover up here. Bradley Dak tries to go back to him and Two and Zabie gets a very much needed touch. And Delat lays it up the line to McCormack. McCormack plays a good one-two with Jack Grealish. It's end-to-end -end stuff again. McCormack into Abraham. Back to Grealish. Looking for Abraham. Just couldn't get in behind good defensive play from Blackburn Rovers. And Evans is going down the right wing looking for Bradley Dak. It's intercepted well by Johan Kabai. And uh, Aston Villa play it out comfortably from the back. As they're being encouraged to do in the match tactics now. Abraham, he's looking to spin in behind but just couldn't use his pace. And Ben Arthur's pass is a bit wayward. And Tu and Xavier will just knock this back to Nyland in the Aston Villa goal. So Jack Grealish out to Taylor. Taylor back to Ben Arthur. Atom Ben Arthur in field looking for Hurrihan. It's been pretty quiet in this game, but now McCormack's got a bit of space. Richie Delat is looking to go outside and does. And stops and turns back very well. Now space here for Hurrihan. He's going to line up a shot. He hits it. It's a good block from the defender. And uh, Blackburn Rovers aren't offering much in this game at the moment. And Aston Villa have got men over here. And he's looking to get Abraham in. But Luke Weiler... Comes out and pounces on the ball. Right, Grealish holds the ball into Tammy Abraham. Was looking for Ben Arthur, but he didn't make the run because he would have been offside. But let Vilas put under pressure. It's a long kick forward, and Chester does well to defend that. But it falls kindly for Blackburn Rovers, and uh, both defenders have been drawn out. Two and Xavier will go and pressure the ball, and Bradley Dak just dances around him, and it's Armstrong who's fouled on the edge of the area. And it's a dangerous free kick for Blackburn Rovers as Hurryhan gives away the foul, gets a talking to from the referee. And uh, who's going to line up over this one for Blackburn Rovers? It's Charlie Mulgrew. What's he got in his locker? He shoots. It's a good save from Nyland. He took a nice early step and uh, moved out and just read the direction of the free kick and made a good save. And now here come Aston Villa. It's laid off. It's Jack Grealish on his weaker left foot. It's Spill. Richie Delat with an open goal. He sticks it in. He took his time. Made sure he had the composure. And Richie Delac gets a goal for Aston Villa. And it's 1-0. And Aston Villa's play really deserves that. It's a pile on, on Delac, who scores from right back. Those attacking right backs that we like to see. And, uh, yeah, the full backs are playing well. Good little intricate passing here between McCormack and Grealish. Left foot shot. The keeper parried it. He got it wide, but Delac just pounced on it and stuck it into the corner. A lovely goal. 1-0 Aston Villa. And Aston Villa stroking the ball around nicely. Now there's a good run from Hatem Ben Arfa. He's in behind. It's Hatem Ben Arfa. Oh, he's just put it wide. So unlucky. Great little ball through here from uh, McCormack. Goodbye to McCormack. And then McCormack, who's becoming a bit of a playmaker, into Ben Arfa. What a pass that is. Oh, and he's gone to place it and just got his angles wrong. Richie Delat's gone on the overlap for McCormack again. He's putting a lot of energy into this first half. Ben Arfa tried to knock it down for Abraham. But he just couldn't get there. And at half time, we see Aston Villa taking a 1-0 lead at the break. So it's been a half that's been dominated by Aston Villa, as you can see here. 62% possession, restricting Blackburn Rovers to only one shot on target and two shots in the whole game. And we've pretty much, we've over doubled the amount of passes that Blackburn Rovers have made. So the second half gets underway by Blackburn Rovers. And uh, we're just going to maybe take off Gig and Plesson, I think, in a minute, just to... Try and conserve some energy as Armstrong gets in behind. That's a lovely ball weighted over Richie Delat. But Aston Villa have the composure to deal with it. And uh, I don't think McCormack's going to get that. He's one of the players that's struggling to keep up the gig and press at the moment. He hasn't really got the stamina for it. As oh, It's a poor pass. And uh, Aston Villa lose possession. Grealish has robbed it. It's dangerous play from Blackburn Rovers. Oh, he just couldn't make the most of the chance. But we have won the header. Tammy Abrams making a run. He tried to jump over it for Jack Grealish. It would have been a lovely dummy if it had come off. And Bradley Dack looks long towards Armstrong, who's looking to get in behind and has. James Chester's completely misjudged that bounce. There's the cutback. And there's the header. And it's an easy catch for Nyland to make. And he's rolled that out comfortably to Delap. So Grealish into Ben Arthur. Ben Arthur through to Tammy Abraham. Looking to the right-hand side to Richie Delap. A willing runner in this game. And his pass is just short for McCormack. And uh, that's maybe a sub we're going to have to make as two and Zabie dives in and we'll probably pick up a yellow card here. Uh, McCormack has got a little bit of stamina left. We are going to sub him off and he's going to be replaced by El Ghazi. 
on the right hand side of the front three. Ben Arthur into Grealish. Grealish back to Ben Arthur. Ben Arthur looking for Abraham. Just couldn't find that final pass through. And uh, the Blackburn goalkeeper clears it up. Should be two and Zabies. But Armstrong used his body well to get in the way. And then a ball over the top. Tia Taylor just makes sure it goes back to Nyland. Who looks long towards Ben Arthur. Who's not known for his uh, aerial prowess. But Aston Villa give it away. And Armstrong comes forward. That's a good tackle. And then Tua and Zabi sweeps up nicely. Grealish wins the ball into Abraham. And Grealish was fouled very late there. And we'll see what happens from that. Uh, I think we're going to do... Jack Grealish is going to come off and be replaced by... Not El Mohamedy. He's actually going to be replaced by... We'll, brew, we'll have a look. We'll go into the game in a minute and have a look. Now, Kabai is just going to knock this one short. And it takes, I mean, we don't have to press the ball anymore, Aston Villa. We don't have to look to move it at a million miles an hour. We've got the lead. We're looking comfortable at the moment. Into Tammy Abraham's feet. Round the corner. Into Ben Arthur. And it's a good save. It was a decent effort from Hatem Ben Arthur. But uh, not too much troubling the goalkeeper. But now, Aston Villa have got a man over. And there's a lot of space. Abraham's made the run. Grealish just kicked it. Straight at the man that was in front of him. But Aston Villa get it back. Blackburn can't get out at the moment. As they're struggling. And they're trying to pass it around. It goes back to Lutweiler. Who again just goes very, very long. And uh, Bradley Dack wins that header. Goes out to Conway on the right hand side for Blackburn here. And uh, Armstrong picks it up. And lat has been pulled out of position. Tone Zabi looks to get there and does. Very well. Good comfortable defending. And oh it's a terrible pass into the middle from Hurrahan. Bradley Dack looking over the top. But Chester... Has enough about him to cover it. And Neil Taylor looks long towards Abraham. So I think Aston Villa are mixing up into their game nowadays, which is good. It's a good little interception from Mel Mohamedy, but he couldn't quite get there. Armstrong is tackled well by El Ghazi. Into Johan Kabai. Johan Grealish around the corner with a nice little flick. Abraham looking wide. There's Neil Taylor on the overlap. Neil Taylor's got a lot of time and space to pick a good cross. He goes low. It's fallen and it's a goal. I think that's El Ghazi number 12. Who sticks it in. Runs off celebrating. It is. It's 2-0 Aston Villa. And we get another goal. It was a good little play. Lovely flick in the middle from Grealish. Neil Taylor cut into the box. And then just drilled a low cross in. It found El Ghazi with a wonderful touch. A wonderful piece of control from El Ghazi. I mean let's see if we can see that again here in this view. The cross comes in. And El Ghazi. Oh it's a terrible touch. But it falls nicely through his legs. And uh, he sticks in the goal. Lovely stuff. Right. Just as Blackburn kick off, we're going to go in and quickly make some changes. So, attacking instru no, uh, advanced instructions. We no longer need the attacking fullback. So, we're going to take them off. Save them a little bit of energy because they're both looking absolutely shattered. Neil Taylor actually on a down red arrow as well. Probably should have noticed that before. Jack Grealish is going to come off and be replaced by... Who's he going to be replaced by? He's actually going to be replaced by Codger. And then what we're going to do is stick Ben Arthur in the hold midfield role. Put Codger up front. Adam uh, Abraham, sorry, into the support striker role. And we'll go from there. And here is Abraham coming forward. He's got a lot of space to run into. Tammy Abraham. Nice little ball through. He's fouled, but the ref plays advantage. He needs Abraham to get up, and he does get up. Abraham with a shot. It's a great save. In off the post. Oh, it's hit the post. It's a save onto the post. It just rolled across the face of the goal. Uh, Tammy Abraham so unlucky. And uh, El Ghazi passed in the ball while he was on the floor. But Tammy Abraham, what a save that is. And then it's agonising for Tammy Abraham. Going across the goal as Mulgrew picks up a yellow card for that tackle. So Ben Arthur will look to swing this in. With any energy he's got left. Looks to drill it. It's gone low. Flicked on at the near post from James Chester. But look, Viola makes the save. And uh, then looks to throw it out. It's a bit of a poor throw. And it's intercepted quite easily. It's Neil Taylor. Flicks that through to Abraham. Who just couldn't sort his legs out. It's come back to Neil Taylor. A cross in towards the back post. And then it's headed away. And uh, Blackburn survived that really poor decision from Lutweiler to throw that out. So here come Aston Villa again. Lots of space. And it's picked out a wonderful ball. And he's through on goal. And it's stuck in the net. It's El Ghazi at the double. He is 3-0. El Ghazi, the super sub, has come on and really made a difference. It's 3-0 Aston Villa. Two goals for El Ghazi, the substitute. And there was just so much space out here. Great ball through from Hurrihan. And El Ghazi just had to pick his spot. And he did with a plomb. Hurrihan flies in very late there on the Blackburn Rovers midfielder. Who uh, just runs it out of place, stupidly, on the wing. But that will probably be a yellow card. It is for Hurrihan. He gets a yellow. And I think we're going to have to make another sub. Because I think, literally, yeah. 
Uh, he is dead on his feet. So where is... We'll put El Mohamedy at left back for now. They, he can play there. It's fine. But Aston Villa get a bit of a fortuitous throw. Referee played advantage. Um, and they didn't end up with a free kick. Blackburn Rovers after that. When they probably should have done. But El Mohamedy gets his first taste of football. He runs forward. Trapped well. And then uh, Tammy Abraham misses the ball. So it's a two minutes of added time. And Aston Villa are just keeping the ball really well. There's no need to run and press. Just keep the ball and see this time out. As Hurrihan lays it to the right to Richie Delat, who should probably be up there for man of the match. It will go to El Ghazi for his two goals. Uh, but are oh, Aston Villa done yet? Kodja just couldn't turn and get his shot off. And uh, that should probably be the game. And it is! And Aston Villa get a wonderful 3 0 uh, win. A much needed 3 0 win. Because the pressure was mounting on Cultured Left Foot, the manager. And uh, Aston Villa show they're playing for him with a good 3 0 win. We'll be back for the second game of the episode. Okay, so we've had a break and said it's time to register a player to my favorite players. You're gonna be managing a lot of players, but this is the place for the ones you consider your stars. Register them in my favorite players, and in a few years, they may be considered club legends. Note that you can only register a player in my favorite players once per year. Now you've got started, so register the player you have the highest hopes for. Select manager's office, select my favorite players, and register the player. Okay, let's go and have a look. My favorite players. So, from my, this squad, my favourite players at the moment. don't know. Ideally, it's going to have to be a youngster, I think, isn't it? So, I guess it's got to be Tuanzebi, really. He's been an absolute rock at the back. So, that's who we're going to go for. Alex, uh, Axel Tuanzebi getting on there. So, look at team management. We've been... Our scout has told me he's found a player for us. He's found four players. So, let's have a look. Players to watch. We have oh, the Oss striker. I have told him to look for strikers. 29 looks pretty decent. Um, speed 79, explosive power 81, and a good bit of finishing at 80. Yuzhoa, um, that is Leonardo Yuzhoa. Is he a free agent? Free agent? He's on a downward progress, and it's pretty, pretty, yeah, he is a free agent. We won't be looking at Yuzhoa. He's probably a bit too old. Uh, Martinez, 24-year-old, Colombian, free agent. Speed 82, explosive power 80, finishing 80, not too bad. And Marquez, finishing 75, kicking power 83, speed 82, explosive power 75. Not the best 31-year-old. Uh, scout in South America isn't doing a wonderful job, I'll, I'll say that. So, uh, I was asked to look at a player, and this is him, Behic, or Behic, um, from Burza Spore. He looks pretty good as a, a bit of competition, speeding bullet, comp playing style. Yeah, he looks... I will make a, maybe make a tentative bid for him. Um, as an offensive fullback, as a bit of competition for Neil Taylor. When the transfer window reopens, that'll happen. So let's forward the time. We'll be up against Bolton Wanderers. And here we are then once again at Villa Park. Aston Villa versus Bolton Wanderers. And uh, there's some, a few surprises in the lineup for today's game. After his two goals, El Ghazi completely misses out of the squad. He's on a downward form arrow, which I don't quite understand. As the Aston Villa players wave to their supporters. Uh, Patent Ben Arthur keeps his spot. And in comes Hepburn Murphy for his first game for Aston Villa in this series. And he's playing just off the striker on this right-hand side. He's got a bit of pace behind him, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, Chester and Tuanzebi are at the back. Neil Taylor at left-back. And Ben Arthur plays alongside Jack Grealish, who are behind Scott Hogan, who has just unlocked, for some reason, the fan favourite trait. So Ben Arthur picks it up in a dangerous position. Round the corner into Hogan to Grealish. Hogan's made a great run. He's into the box. Scott Hogan! And he's really taken his chance in this lineup. And he's got an early goal for Aston Villa. And Scott Hogan, what a start to the game for Aston Villa. It was a good build up play. Kabai picked out Ben Arthur. Ben Arthur into Grealish, uh, to Hogan. Back to Grealish. Back into Hogan. Uses his strength. And then from that range, he's not going to miss. And it is 1 0 Aston Villa. Again, Aston Villa playing it around nightly. Grealish into Hogan. It comes back and there's a shot. It's a fierce effort. Um, that was Hepburn Murphy with that shot there. The first real chance we've seen of the youngster to have a go. Uh, a good effort. And Aston Villa are doing well. Scott Hogan just couldn't find space for the shot. And his pass in the end is poor. And uh, it didn't find Neil Taylor. But James Chester gets the ball back and lays it into Kabai. Kabai out to Hurrihan. Hurrihan into Grealish. Grealish around the corner to Hogan. Back to Grealish, and he's got a bit of space here, and he's just trying to accelerate away. It's a bit of a bundle. It's fallen to Hepburn Murphy with a shot. Oh, agonising for the youngster. Hepburn Murphy 
It's just, it was all a bit of a ping pong battle in here. Grealish trying to negotiate out of a tight space. And then the Fulham defenders ran back into Grealish. And Hepburn Murphy is agonisingly past the post. So Hepburn Murphy at the moment is not getting involved in everything. And here he is again. He's looking for that reverse pass to try and set Grealish away. But Bolton Wanderers just cannot get out at the moment. And uh, it's all Aston Villa. As Hepburn Murphy again finds the lap. He's gone for a 1-2 with Hepburn Murphy. It was a bit elaborate. Uh, and Bolton Wanderers just about hold on. Now Richie Delat stayed on side and has put in a great tackle to get the ball back. He swings in an early cross. Wheater with a diving header. And uh, Hepburn Murphy wins a throw in for Aston Villa. So on the edge, Grealish into Hurrihan. Back to Grealish. Delat's made a good run, but Grealish just couldn't find him. And Bolton Wanderers just can't do anything but clear the ball out for throw in after throw in. Now Hepburn Murphy's on down the line. A quick throw. And uh, Hepburn Murphy's tackle. But they're working the line, Aston Villa. It's going okay. So Grealish picks it up, back to Hurrihan, and Johan Kabai has got a bit of space, a shot from range, it was on, he fancied it, and Noon clears that away, and it's going to be another Aston Villa throw in, and uh, let's see if we can take this quickly, so Neil Taylor, back to Kabai, Kabai looking to dink it in, but Hogan was just offside, and uh, that's, yeah, miles offside, not just offside, miles offside. So a bit of confusion at the Aston Villa defence has released Will Buckley just to try and get in behind. He's forced wide very well and we get a good deflection on that cross. And now can Aston Villa launch a nice little counter-attack? There's a, some good running up ahead and here is Scott Hogan and he's going to waste that pass I think. No, it does reach Ben Arthur and then into Grealish. Grealish turns using his feet well uh, into Hepburn Murphy who's just tackled by Mark Beavers. And uh, Bolton Wanderers look to spring their own counter-attack here as McGuinness has it put under good pressure. And uh, nothing so far has come from this. But Neil Taylor can't quite get to Olowski. Back to Williams. Ball out and it's cleared very well. So Scott Hogan. There's a man free in the middle. He tries to pick out Jack Grealish. Grealish squares it. Hepburn Murphy. Oh, he's hit it straight at the goalkeeper. What a miss on his debut. That is shocking. The rebound falls. Header. And Williams makes the save. Oh, Hepburn Murphy. That was the moment, my lad. That was the moment. He's done. He's impressed me. I'm not going to lie. He's impressed me. He's forcing his way into the lineup. Him and Scott Hogan as well. Both are playing very well at, in this game against Wanderers at the moment. It's good to see we've got a bit of depth in the squad. So, Grealish puts Noon under pressure, but it doesn't look like Bolton are going to go really that far with this one. As uh, Noon looks to get in behind. Into will Don uh, Oloxi, who's blocked. And it will be a Bolton Wanderers throw. And Noon is on the far side, cross in. And Nyland makes a good save. He's very good at coming out for them. Uh, and I am very thankful for it. And now Aston Villa again. Bolton Wanderers are very susceptible to a, uh, a counter-attack here. As Neil Taylor into Hogan. Hogan tries to spin. Beavers defends it well. But Hogan uses his strength. And now Delat has got some space here. And he keeps going, Delat. He's into the box. He stops. Oh, he's trying to tease a little free kick or a penalty or a foul. Out of Bolton Wanderers. But at half-time, it's 1-0. Scott Hogan's early goal has given Aston Villa a well-deserved lead. So Bolton Wanderers get the second half underway. Aston Villa don't change anything. And Will Buckley has gone off for Bolton to be replaced by Wiltshire, who is on the ball right now. Uh, Bolton Wanderers have worked something well here. It's a shot and it's a great save from Nyland. And uh, Bolton Wanderers passed that around pretty well. It was a good fizzed ball into the striker that you'll see here on the replay. They're just passing it around, moving people out of positions. And there's the ball in. It's a great little touch to flick it up. And uh, it's a fingertip save from Nyland to touch it round the post. So again, doing that one with the all line up on the six yard box. If someone's going slightly short. It's dinked in. McGuinness with a header. And it goes wide and not really troubling Nyland's goal. Taylor up the line into Grealish. Grealish in the field. Now there needs a bit of movement here. Hepburn Murphy lays it out to Delat. Richie Delat has the ball. Just holds on to it. Goes back to two and Zabie just. Although McGuinness got a foot in. And uh, that could give Bolton Wanderers a chance. And Nyland's come a long way and he's got there. And I think if that goes off, he's going to win Aston Villa a throw. But it stays on. Wilchner waits for the run on the overlap. But Delat's there covering. And uh, Nyland was very quick off his line, which was good to see there. As uh, Jack Grealish gets into a bit of trouble. And Craig Noon picks it up into Oztuma. Back to Noon on the edge. He's got a runner outside and he finds him. Williams and... To just messing around with a Villa and Nyland puts his foot through it. And uh, they just about hold on to the 1-0 win. 1-0 uh, lead. Hepburn Murphy gets it. Up to Hogan. Hogan. Oh, it's Hepburn Murphy it could still be in. Oh, what a back heel that is. Oh, he's offside. I thought that was going to be a wonderful assist for the debutant. Oh, what a flick through. Delat. unlucky. Unlucky. He was looking for his second goal in two games, Richie Delat, And uh, it just wasn't happening. 
So it's cleared away, and there's a lot of space here for Aston Villa to work with. Up to Ben Arthur. Hogan picks it up. He's got Ben Arthur in front of him. Gives him the ball. Back to Hogan. He's got a man outside. Back to Hogan again. Looking just to create a final pocket of space. And it's into Ben Arthur. Is that taking a deflection? Uh, it hasn't. It's gone round the post for a goal kick. And Ben Arthur rushed his shot a little bit. And here come Villa. It's up to Hogan. Back to Grealish. Looking for Ben Arthur. And he gets there. Taylor again on the overlap. Neil Taylor loving this bit of freedom he's got. Ball in. It's easy for Wheater to defend. And uh, Neil Taylor gets up there. Just lacking a little bit of end product today. As Hepburn Murphy goes for a fancy flick, which is intercepted. And uh, this could give Bolton Wanderers a chance. I really hope they don't score from a Hepburn Murphy mistake. And they won't, because my man, Two and Xavier, was there as Richie Delat with a terrible pass. But the immediate danger is over. So a quick substitution for Villa. Jack Grealish comes off to replace by Ross McCormack. And he's being forced off there by David Wheater, I think that is. But uh, it's uh, it's been a good game for Jack Grealish. Couldn't get into the game as much as he normally would like to. Uh, normally likes to try a few bits of skill, hold up the ball and get the strikers involved. But a uh, decent game and it's still 1-0 Villa. Hogan lays it off into Hurrihan. Back to Hogan. Hurrihan's gone again and he's in. Can he get his shot off? He does. And that's 2-0. That's the comfort goal that Aston Villa needed. And uh, I think that is. Is that Hurrihan? I think it is. Um, it was McCormack here into Hogan. Hogan to uh, uh, Hurrihan it is. Back to Hogan and then a lovely through ball. Scott Hogan's having a wonderful game at the moment. And uh, this has been a, turning out to be a really good episode. Absolute goals galore and all in our favour. I think this formation suits the villains. And we're going to keep on going and see how we get on. The only thing we can probably do now is we can probably take off the gig and Plesson. We don't need to do that. Uh, and we can take off attack and fullbacks as well. There's no need to have that. No need. 2-0 up. We don't need to push the fullbacks on so much anymore as Vela gets into trouble but wins a free kick. I think that's soft. I think that's very soft. So Hepburn Murphy's debut comes to the end. He applauds the fans as he goes off. It's been a really good debut for the youngster. And he's replaced by another one, number 65 for number 64. And Kelvin Davis comes on. So a good episode to see a bit of the youth players. So Alkowski's got a low ball in. And uh, two and Zabies there again. And Neil Taylor's not messing around. Puts his foot through it. And that's great strength from Hogan. Lays it off to Ben Arthur. Ben Arthur infield. Oh, and it's a great tackle from Williams, to be fair. He had to win that ball. And Bolton Wanderers are starting to throw men forward now. And as Turma has it, he brought to Nzabi. just comes out and leaves his position a little bit. Delat is beaten on the wing. The ball comes across. It's a cutback. And that's a great tackle from Tua Nzabi. He was having the game of his life back there. And uh, here come Aston Villa. Now, Aston Villa are storming forward. There's a lot of space for Hatton Ben Arthur. He's been greedy and shot. Shots and shoots. Williams makes an easy save. About eight minutes to go. 2-0 Villa. A lot of space on the right-hand side for Kelvin Davis. What can he do? Ball in. Hogan. Back to Davis. Davis is through. The youngster. Kelvin Davis. Oh, again, both youngsters are missing wonderful chances in this game to become Villa youth prodigal legends. As the ball comes in, looking for Vela. And it's a good header from the defender, Vela, though. It was actually looking for Davis, sorry, not Vela. As uh, Bolton Wanderers clear their line, and James Chester is not going to be in any rush to do anything with this. As they just keep the ball round the back. And it looks like Aston Villa are going to get back-to-back -back victories. And back-to-back uh, -back clean sheets, if my memory serves me well. But don't speak too soon. Richie Delat is going to have to cover here. And he's asking Kelvin Davis to do his pressing for him. Josh Vela put under pressure from Davies pretty well. And Woodshut has got the wrong side of Delat. But again, he's force wide and there's not much they can do there as Nyland dives on the ball. And he's been a very good player for us as well, the goalkeeper. He's had a few very top saves. And there it is. Full time, 2-0. Back-to-back wins against two of the weaker teams in the division. But uh, it all counts. It doesn't matter. You can only beat what's in front of you. Good youth debuts as well for a couple of the players there. Hepburn Murphy and Davis doing very well in the debuts. We'll look to try and get them involved a little bit more. And Scott Hogan coming in and playing very well up front. He'll keep his spot next time unless he's on a down form arrow. But uh, yeah, that was very, very good. Puts us up to second place, which is wonderful stuff. Yeah, we're doing okay. Scott Hogan, average rating ranking up there, 7.5. So he'll definitely keep his spot if he's in form. The team of the month has been announced. And we got Tuan Zabi and Hurihan in there. Which is good. I'm happy with that. Two players in the team. Two and Zabi dramatic, dramatically improving to 82 defensive prowess, which is good. Davies and Hepburn Murphy both increasing as well with that performance. And next up in the next episode will be oh, the Birmingham Derby. So, 
That will be a very, very good day. So the whole atmosphere of the team changes when Tuan Zabi is around. He gets the team role acquired leader, which is excellent. We like to see that. So a derby match against Birmingham City. We make sure to take a look at which players are enjoying a boost to their condition as a result of a team role. Okay, excellent. Lots of news to look at. Uh, lots of, a bit more money coming in as well. Making money, which is good. Always good to see. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, I've put out a new schedule for when videos will be released. I'm hoping to do pairs Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, Football Manager will be Tuesday, Thursdays. And Champ Manager 01 and 2 will be Saturday, Sunday, along with the Football Talk podcast on Sundays as well. But thank you very much for watching. If you're new, please subscribe. If there's any players you want me to check out on pairs and add them to my shortlist, please just let me know in a comment below. But for now, I'm out. Cheers.